Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Yep, two videos, one day. I hope you all enjoy these. Uh, we just got off an AMA session with the, the Taco Universe team and it went great. Uh, they answered a lot of questions in a short amount of time. I'm gonna do my best to go ahead and recap uh, some of the items that were covered in that. In addition, go over the, the details that were just released also today around the Brigade brigade um the new uh game that's coming out for taco the taco universe this is not a separate project this is all going to be within the taco universe which means you can access it through the taco website and also the taco universe app so that you don't have to go to a separate place. They did mention during the AMA that there might in the future be a separate app, but I, I don't know if that'll be the case or not. At least for the short term, you'll be able to access it the same way you access anything else from a Taco Universe perspective. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead uh, through this and we'll talk about it. Um, for those of you that are not familiar, uh, Brigade is going to be a, a free to play game, also play to earn. So th what that means is anyone that has a wax wallet whether they have an nft in the game or don't they will be able to play it the nfts will be available and they will give a significant boost to anyone that is an nft holder basically if you get any of uh, a pack coming up here in, on friday or off of the secondary market and you use that while you're playing it'll give you a boost uh, whether it's a pr production boost or a luck boost so you can get uh, a chance at additional NFTs. All right. For those of you that also are not familiar um, and, and had the same initial thought that I did with Brigade, um, I thought it was going to be a war game uh, around different types of war strategies. Um, but in talking with Nico and also in the M uh, AMA, they confirmed that this is focused more on kitchens uh, in the Kitchen Brigade, which goes very well with the overall Taco Universe theme. Uh, the venues are, and we'll jump over that, the venues are basically taco stands or taco trucks or taco uh, different restaurants. Um, so it makes sense that the brigade game will be basically you are helping out within those kitchens to help the venues uh, and their businesses. Uh, so you'll do different things like cleaning dishes, you'll uh, cleaning up, cooking, things like that. So that, that's the, the theory behind the game. Um, kind of scroll through here is in order to play the game itself, you're going to need a wax wallet. Um, that's normal. Uh, you're also going to be able to access it, as I mentioned, through their, their website or their app. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to that special section, which isn't, isn't on the website yet. This is the website, but it will be, there'll be a, a separate tab for it. And then on uh, the app itself, there'll be a separate tab there, which you can already see in the Taco Universe app. You just can't access it. You go to that, that separate section, you select the venue, and, and then you select your NFT that you would like to include there. If you have one, if you don't, you don't need to. And then you execute the, the task. The tasks take an hour to complete, and they must be collected every single hour. The, there's a lot of concerns with that. Obviously, uh, you don't wanna sit around and, and click something every hour on the hour in order to produce. Uh, they did mention that that's gonna be the way it is for day one. There will be a second series uh, drop that will come here in the future. And in that second series, there, there's a potential boost with the NFTs that will allow you to extend that time frame, which, which will make it a lot more user friendly. But they wanted to keep this every hour on the hour uh, just to, to start out to see how everything goes. You can, if you time it correctly and you don't want to sleep at night, uh, you can do 24 hours a day. Um, obviously don't recommend that, but that, that's, that's option right there. Um, so, so that's how that works. Um, as far as the, the venues, they say, um, when you go in there into the brigade game and you want to select, you're only going to have the options of the venues that have already leveled up to hundred. I'm going to jump over here to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're not familiar with venues uh, and you're, you're brand new to the Taco Universe, venues is essentially the land aspect for the Taco Universe. 
what you can do, which is different than most games in their land, is you can level them up. And as you level them up, you get additional features, and they call them services. Um, and when you get to level 100, it allows you to uh, host the brigade game, which means that you will get a portion of whatever someone comes in there, plays, and, and, and you get Shing as a, a basically a fee or a tax. So it it's adds the another level to the Metasphere um, for the Taco universe. And all of these venues are owned by people, so it's not the game itself owning them. So people are actually going out there and leveling, which is another reason why I highly recommend people get venues. Um, even if you get one and you level that one up, um, the venues themselves are relatively decently priced right now. They're in the 130 range for the, for the commons. And you only need a common. You can get a common, you can level it up. Um, the thing that I do, do hesitate on, the, the leveling cost itself can get expensive. For example, for me to go ahead and level up to level 30, which I will do here shortly, um, I need a red bean, which is a taco ingredient. It's roughly between 50 and 60 wax on uh, the secondary market, plus five taco. The nice thing is as I'm earning Shing, I can produce my own ingredients that I can sell, or if it just happens to be that time in the leveling, I can use to level. All right, let's 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 get back on track with the Brigade game. Um, jumping back over here, so essentially there's initially not gonna be a lot of level 100 venues out there. So when you go to that, your selection is not gonna be very high, but as more people level to 100, you're gonna have more of a selection. And yes, you can pick your own venue if you get it to level 100. Um, the nice thing is there's an incentive for people to get to level 100 as quickly as possible in the venues uh, because the pool that they're gonna earn is gonna be higher. I'm going to skip over this, uh, or I'm going to roughly cover this just because we want to focus on the brigade side. Um, basically means people have more of an incentive to get that level up there and get more venues available. And the neat thing that they mentioned on the AMA is down the road, venue owners are going to have the ability to do promos, basically give do competitions or give additional NFT benefits. Uh, for for you using their venue. So keep an eye out for that as as more people have venues get to level 100 and there's more competition for your attention as a, as a brigade player, there's going to be events happening. There's going to be other chances to get NFT from the owners themselves. So that's a really neat aspect that will not be available day one, but it will be a, a short follow-up. All right, let's go down. Let's talk about the equipment that, that's going to be coming out here in on Friday. Um, all different rarities common through myth Mythic. Um, there's two elements to each of the pieces of equipment. There's power, which will determine how much uh, Shing you get every time, every hour you go ahead and play the game. Luck will determine uh, your ability to go ahead and enter the lottery system. Every 24 hours, uh, you'll have a chance to get an NFT pack, which will include one uh, Brigade NFT. Um, ranging from a common to a rare. And this comes into into effect. I, right now, you're only allowed to use one uh, piece of equipment in game. There's a potential down the road that that could expand and I'm assuming it will expand. Um, but in addition to just having the one that you play, you have the ability to craft or blend and upgrade your existing equipment. So if you have a couple commons, you can go ahead and blend them to get up to a uncommon and so forth down the road. So if you're stuck where you have, for example, you have uh, one common and one uncommon and you want to get that guy up to a rare, you, you don't have to go off the secondary market. You, every single 24 hours that you play the game, you have the chance of getting additional NFTs that you can use to blend down the road. So it's a great addition. As you all know from my other uh, videos, I love ways to get NFTs in game. All right, let's scroll down. Um, in addition to the the equipment, they're also introducing T cores, which is going to be used for blending. Uh, anything above a uncommon blend will need a uh, core. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, they will be introduced in the whale packs, and also if you break down uh, taco ingredients, which I was just previously talking about. We'll give you the cores that you can use not only for this, but I think there's gonna be some future uses for them also. 
The one thing I also wanted to highlight is when you're crafting and blending, there is a tiny chance that you could actually break your equipment. So be aware of that. I don't know what the percentages they'll announce that down the road, but just be aware of that, that there, there is a risk when you go when you're crafting. I wanted to talk uh, about the drop that's coming up. There will be a whitelist. The whitelist is for taco VIPs, uh, universe sauce holders, and also top tacos, which is a discord rule for those that, that help a lot and are very involved in the community. Um, so roughly there's 100 VIPs, 100 sauce holders, and I'm not sure how many top tacos are there, I'm guessing in the 20 range. So that's about 220 people that are eligible for the white list. Uh, you can get the taco VIP and the taco so universe sauce. Make sure it's the taco universe sauce. There's a lot of different sauces out there. You can get those on the secondary market. They are pricey. Uh, I think the last time I checked VIP is 15,000 wax and the taco universe sauce was over 2,000 wax the last I checked. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but if you want to get whitelisted, it is available. Having said all that, since there's only about 220 that can get whitelisted and they can each only get one pack, there's going to be packs left over for the public sale. There are three different packs. Uh, you have the small pack, which comes with two pieces of equipment, only $9. And there's 1,500 of those. There's 1,000 big packs, comes with three pieces of equipment, $15 and 400 whale packs, seven pieces of equipment, plus one of the, the, the Takors, um, only 37. So two things that you'll see from this. One, if there's only 220 whitelist users, that means there are gonna be plenty of white whale packs left over for the public sale. So that's a good thing. There's obviously gonna be a mad rush for these. These are gonna sell out. I understand that, uh, but you have the, the chance of getting them. The second thing is, the price for these is affordable. And that's one of the goals of the, the Brigade game is they're trying to not only do the free to play to attract people in, but they're also trying to make it affordable to attract people in. So that's a great addition. So, so e even if you just want to go ahead and grab one of the small packs, just so you have a piece of equipment, it, it's worth it because then you have that bonus there. The other thing you need to keep in mind is as you go up in the rarity of the packs, the rarity that you can get also goes up. For example, the only way that you can potentially pull a legendary pack is through the whale, I'm sorry, legendary NFT is through the whale pack. So keep that in mind as you're, you're going ahead and buying. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop here because I forgot to mention earlier, I, and I have to, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial professional. This is just me telling you my personal opinion. Uh, make sure you do your own research and decide whether you want this is right for you or not. Make your own decisions. Um, I will personally be buying at least one pack of each uh, coming with a sale. I thankfully was able to get a Taco Universe sauce when that price dipped down. It's still expensive, don't get me wrong. Um, I missed it on the initial release, but I, I bought one recently. Uh, it was under a thousand. Um, like I said, still, still expensive, but I. If it's used for whitelist now and in the future, totally worth it. Um, so I will be buying three packs myself personally. Um, unpacking will be two hours afterwards. Right after the unpacking is available, you'll be able to go ahead and do the crafting. So you can go ahead and blend them up right away. Um, and last thing I wanted to mention was the referral system. This is another way um, to get the marketing out there. It's been, there's a lot of questions in the AMA around how do we get more people involved? How do we get the marketing out there? This is one of many ways that the team is, is doing it. Uh, it's a referral program. Basically, anyone can use it. Uh, their, their focus here is on venue owners, project owners, YouTubers, streamers, uh, but anyone, even if you want to bring one of your friends in there to go ahead and play, you can give them a referral. I hope anyone that's watching this will use my referral code once it's available. <laughs> uh, but obviously, you can use whoever whoever's your friend in game to, to go ahead and do that. Um, it basically gives the, the refer um, a 20% bonus. So, and it does not take anything away from the, the, the brigade player. So there's no impact to the brigade player. They get 100% of what they are supposed to get. Uh, so basically if the, the player gets 10,000 shing, the refer gets a, a bonus of 2,000 shing. So it just, it helps out. Um, so that is a great way to, to attract additional people and get additional attention. 
I, I wish more games did this, um, not just because I'm a YouTuber, but also because there's a lot of people that, a, a big name of the game for, for WAX is referrals. And I think you referring the people that reward it is, is just, just makes sense. Um, so I hope you all like this. Um, like I said, my personal opinion, I am very excited about this since it is just one piece of a very established project. It's not its own project. It is an addition. Um, Talk has always said that they want to do, they want to make a platform, a platform for games and utilities. And that's what they're doing. This is one piece to the puzzle and all the pieces of the puzzle connect. So I'm very excited about this. Um, there's the fact that it's also free to play for those that, that don't have a lot. It's a great and easy way to enter uh, an awesome taco community. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all like this. Um, and I thank you all for your time. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.